Okay, so I want the record to show that I've already taped this video once. This will be my second tape. Um, hey, it's me, Ash Joan. Um, it's a few minutes after midnight. It would be January 1st, 2011. Um, this would be the first episode, well, first video, for the Ash Joan video uh, challenge. It's a 365 days, and it's to not only get to know yourself better, to be more in love with yourself, to be inspired and more confident. But I think it's something kind of fun, too. Um, it's a whole new spin on New Year's resolutions that, you know, no one ever keeps. Um, and if you do, you're like a hero or something. Um, anyway, so I'm chilling in my living room. I just finished a grapefruit, which I probably shouldn't have eaten in retrospect. Um, and uh, anyway, so day one challenge today. Um, you can pick up anywhere if you want to do the challenge with me. Um, you can start on day one um, and go back through and watch my videos. I'm doing this challenge on Tumblr, Facebook, and YouTube. So I'm just going to post the videos on YouTube and then I'm going to post the videos on the other two sites because I'm just so good like that. Um, I'm going to try and make a video for each thing um, and I'm going to do them personally, like write them out in my notebook. Um, so, the first challenge um, is day one, which I've already mentioned, and the challenge is to um, introduce yourself, basically, um, with 15 facts and a photo of you. So, this is my photo. <laughs> um, I'll probably post a real photo here later, but um, 15 facts about me. Uh, let's start. Number one. Hmm, I just finished a grapefruit. <laughs> um, I have I have been eating a grapefruit in years, actually. Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever eaten one by myself. Um, I think that's an interesting fact. Fact number two, I just watched The Sister in the Traveling Pants, one of the many movies that makes me cry my eyes out. Um, Toy Story 3 was also another one. <laughs> um, third fact, I hate my middle name. Um, but it's for a really silly reason. Um, my middle name is the same name as a girl that I really hate, hated in high school. Um, her and I were enemies. Um, and so I tell everyone my middle name is Marie. Um, anyway, I thought that was interesting. Fact number four, I usually lose count when I'm counting things, and sometimes I'll say a second, like five times. Alright, um, fact number five, and, alright, great food. Um, I came up with the idea for the Ashton video challenge, or, um, Ashton challenge, I guess. Um, I think we're calling it 365 day challenge, which is kind of a crappy name. I really need to rethink that. Anyway, um, I came up with the idea actually from, um, an amazing site called Tumblr. There's all these challenges all the time. They're like 30 days, 10 days, 5 days. Um, and... And I thought some of them were really amazing. And then, um, if you don't know me, if you're just learning about me now, hi! Um, my next fact, which I think is number six, um, I feel really strongly um, about body image. I really think that today's society, um, teenage girls especially, teenage guys too, actually, um, have a lot of really negative body image issues. And I'm really strongly about that, and that's part another part of the reason why I'm doing this challenge. Um, I kind of made it, centered it around getting to your inner personal self better, but getting more comfortable with your body. Um, and so that's it's like a big deal to me, you know. Um, there's so many people nowadays with an eating disorder or some form of an eating disorder. One in every two people will suffer from or experience something to do with an eating disorder, whether it's overeating or undereating. It's an eating disorder. You know, only eating certain, you know, there's so many different variations of eating disorders that people have that they don't even know they have. And that's something I feel really strongly about. Um, and on top of that, I mean, there's so much hate going on all the time you know. Alright, fact number seven. Um, whenever someone asks me what my favorite kind of food is, I always say free. Um, which 
is obviously true. Stuff tastes better when it's free. Okay. Um, <laughs> fact number eight. Whenever someone asks me if you could go to a deserted island and only take three things, what would they be? Um, I respond with the smart-ass remark. I only need one thing. And they, of course, say, what is this one thing? And I say, a boat to get off. <laughs> um, no one's ever challenged me on that before yet, actually. Um, okay, number nine. Say we're on nine. Say we're on nine. Um, someday I want a St. Bernard, and her name is going to be Daisy May. Simple, sweet, to the point. <laughs> um, Alright, number 10. I would like to be married by the time I'm 30. That means I need to find someone to marry me. No, I have someone. I need to get them to agree to marry me in the next 10 years. Because actually I want to be married by 25 and I start having kids at 30. But uh, I don't see that happening. <laughs> um, okay, fact number 10. I think we're on 10 now. I don't, there's a good chance I won't be able to have children, so I plan to adopt. Um, so, future husband, you need to be okay with that. <laughs> um, he knows who he is. Anyway, um, fact number 11. I had my palm read a few years back. And the lady who read my poem told me that I would marry a man that I may or may not have already met. Which is, you know, slightly vague already. Because she couldn't tell. She said it was weird. It was like I had met them, but I hadn't really met them. And that they would have dark hair and dark eyes. And considering I have never dated a guy with dark hair and dark eyes. And then I have this guy. Who is amazing and I am madly in love with and he has dark hair and dark eyes. <laughs> hmm. Ironic? I think so. <laughs> Alright, um, num fact number 12. <sighs> 12, 12, 12, 12. Hmm. There's absolutely nothing on television right now. No, um, oh, this is a fact I had the first time I recorded this video. Um, I have been in a bridal party once, and that was my aunt's wedding. Well, my aunt and uncle, technically. Um, I have hairy armpits, too. <laughs> Don't look at them. No, I'm kidding. They're not that bad. Um, and I was a junior bridesmaid, which was really cool. Um, I actually think I still have the dress. It, no way on earth is going to fit me, though, because I think I was, like, 12 when I wore it. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay, back to number 13. I hate the number 13. No, um, I don't hate the number 13. Poor 13. I get so much hate. Um, 13 also kind of looks like a B. Not the point. Um, oh, the movie 13. Um, I wanted to see that movie so freaking bad. But I was, like, three months away from being, maybe it wasn't three months, but I was really close to being 17 when that movie came out. And I really wanted to see it. So I went to the movies with a couple of my friends. And we all met up there. And I was the oldest. So they were like, okay, well, you know, here's all the money. Go get the tickets. So I went. And I kid you not, the guy was like, dude, you're not 17. You can't get into a rated R movie. Pick another movie. So instead of seeing 13, okay, which for the record has like no blood, gut, and gore in it. They gave me freaking tickets to see, what was it? Um. Oh, was some gut slasher movie. Oh, was it Cornfield? Oh, I can't think of it. I want to say The Strangers, but that's not it. Anyway, it was literally a PG-13. And so I get in the movie, and freaking like three seconds in the movie, the kid's wearing a t-shirt that has a number 13. I was like, shh. Should've went and saw 13. Um, anyway, fact number 14, I am 20 years old and I don't like it one dang bit. I don't want to be 20. I, I really don't. 
I want to be like three. Can we go back to like three? When I thought Barney was God. All right. Um, and fifteen. Fact fifteen. I am doing my own challenge because I don't think I can do the whole dang thing. Got to be honest. All right. Toodles. Good luck. Stay safe. I need a grapefruit, man. These things are pretty good.